Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Realme Pad Mini and in this video I am going to show you top 22 tips and tricks for this tablet. So guys, the first tip that I am going to talk about is screen recording. So you can record your screen. So what you have to do, just bring down this notification panel and you see this pencil over here this pencil icon just select it once you select it you have to scroll down and you will see an option of screen record okay just press and hold it and bring it to the top okay so you can bring it anywhere on top like this and then you can go back okay so now you will see if you bring down the notification panel again you will see the screen record option available just select it okay so once you select it it will give you uh, two options record audio so whatever you say it will record and then it will also show you show touches on the screen okay so if you want you can enable both okay and so it's up to you you can customize it according to your needs there is one more option uh, which is over here if you select this arrow okay so here you have more options about microphone device audio okay device audio and microphone so three more options available for example if you want to record uh, the audio inside the device you can also do it okay so device audio uh, is available so these settings you can do it's up to you whatever settings you want and you can start recording so just press the start button okay and then here you see the countdown okay so now the recording has been started so whatever you say whatever you do on your screen it will record if you want to finish it just scroll down again okay and then here you see this red color um, uh, notification if you just press it okay it will automatically stop it and it will save it in your gallery the next tip is about multiple users for your tablet so guys how to enable it you have to go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you have to scroll down and you see this option of system just select it once you select it the next setting is advanced just select advanced and then here you see this option of multiple users so just select it so once you select it here you can add more users and you can customize uh, their settings as well so this is really really helpful the next tip is about using the power button to turn on the camera okay so first of all you have to go into the settings okay and then you see this option of system just select it once you select it you have to select this option of gestures okay so in the gesture the very first option over here it says quickly open camera currently it is turned off okay so you have to just select it okay and then here you have to enable it okay so now i enable it okay now for example i go to home screen i uh, lock screen my tablet like this okay and now i want to uh, turn the camera okay by using the power button so i press the power button two times okay so i will show you so here this is the power button so now you can see i turn on the power button and it turn on the camera for me i can take the picture everything i can do easily the next tip is about removing these buttons and use a navigation bar instead okay so how to enable it just go to the settings okay once you go to the setting you see this option of system okay just select it and here you see this option of gestures okay just select it and here uh, you see this option of system navigation just select it and then here you see two different option the first one is gesture navigation the second one is three button navigation so if you don't want to use these buttons so just select this gesture navigation so you can see the buttons are now removed you just have to use this navigation bar instead okay so if you do it like this it will go to the recent you can also use it for back for home screen okay so if you don't want it if you want the buttons back just go to the settings again and then uh, go to the system 
and then gestures and then here you have this option of system navigation and then you can select these three button navigation and now you have these buttons available the next tip is about using three finger swipe down to take the screenshot and then you can also edit it all the editing tools are available so you can crop it you can adjust you can filter okay so you can see over here there are different options over here so how to enable this option so you have to go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you just have to select this option of system okay so once you select this system option just select these gestures okay and then here you see this option of swipe down with three fingers to take screenshot so just select it okay so if it is turned off you can turn it on to enable this feature the next feature is about double tap to wake the screen so for example if my uh, screen is locked okay and now i double tap on it it will turn on the screen and then i can use my tablet so how to enable this feature just go to the settings then go to the system okay and then here you see this option of gestures okay and here you see the last option over here it says double tap to wake screen so if it is disabled you have to enable it from here okay then it will be very easy if you lock your screen and you double tap it will turn on the tablet the next tip is about assistive ball feature so you have to go to the settings okay then go to the system okay and then once you enter into the system you see this option of gestures okay this gestures option okay and here you see this option of assistive ball so just select it so once you select it it will also show you the quick guide how to use the assistive ball and if you want to turn it on you have to turn it on from here so you can see a small ball appear over here so how does it work if you press it two times it will uh, turn on the recent apps so you can select any apps from here okay and then for example if uh, you are in uh, some system settings or somewhere if you want to go back so just press it one time okay so you can see it will go back and then again one time it will go back from here okay and then if uh, you are using uh, some app and you want to go to the home screen just press and hold it okay it will take you to the home screen so this is how you can use the assistive ball the next feature is about otg connection if you want otg connection from your tablet so you just have to the uh, go to the settings okay and in the settings you have to select this system okay and then in the system you have this advanced option just select it so once you select it you have to scroll down you see this option of otg connection you can turn it on if you want to uh, use your tablet for otg connection but currently i don't want it so i just disable it okay uh, the next feature is about reading mode so guys it is, this tablet is really helpful for students uh, they can use it for study for pdf for books okay so how to enable the reading mode you can just swipe down the notification panel okay and then here you see this option of a reading mode so if i enable it you will see everything will become black and white in the tablet okay so you can see even if i open something okay so you can see over here it will be, uh, become black and white okay so you can see everything become black and white so this will be really helpful in your studies okay so currently i don't want it in a reading mode so i will disable it the next uh, feature is about widgets option so if you press and hold on the home screen so you have these widgets okay so you can select any widgets from here for example i want this clock so i press and hold it and then i can put it anywhere on my home screen so you can see so you can see this is how you can insert the widgets the next feature is about the next feature is about battery saver so to save the battery just go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you see this option of battery so just select it once you select it you see the first option over here it says battery saver currently it is turned off so just select it and then you can select it as turn on now okay so it will uh, extend your battery uh, by turn on the dark theme 
okay and it will turn off or restricts background activity some visual effects and other features like hey google so this is how this battery saver works the next feature is about uh, showing the battery percentage on your screen so you can see there is no battery percentage uh, showing okay so how to enable it just go to the settings and then you see this battery option just select it okay and then here you see this option of battery percentage uh, if i enable it you will see the battery percentage is now showing over here okay uh, the next feature is about font size okay so if you want to increase or decrease the font size uh, how to do it just go to the settings okay and then here you see this option of display just select it once you select it uh, you have to select this option of advanced okay and then in advanced you see this option of font size currently it is default so if you select it you can see it is also showing you the sample text and here it will show you different size options okay so you can make it largest large small so whatever uh, you want whatever size you like you can set it the next tip is about a uh, face lock okay so how to enable the face lock uh, you have to go to the settings okay and then you have to go into the security okay so here is the security option once you enter into the security option you see this option of face unlock okay so just select it so here you can uh, set up your face unlock method so there are different options showing over here so face unlock plus pattern face unlock pin face unlock password so it's up to you whichever setting you want uh, the next step is about app pinning okay so you can pin your app in your tablet and uh, then you cannot use any other app so how to enable it just go to the settings okay then go to the security okay once you enter into the security you see this option of advanced features okay so just select it so once you select it scroll down and here you see the last option it says app pinning currently it is turned off so just select it and you can turn it on okay and then press okay so guys you can pin any app on uh, your screen okay so for example i open this google chrome okay and i want to pin this app okay so what i will do i will just go to the home screen i select this recent option okay and then here you see this uh, google chrome showing over here if you select this icon over here okay you see this option of pin so just select it so now app is pinned okay and then you cannot open any other app okay so if for example if i want to go back for example i go back home screen you, you can see i cannot go back to the home screen i can only work on this specific app so guys if you want to unpin uh, this app you have to press and hold this recent button and this back button together you have to press and hold them okay so i will show you so now you can see the app is now unpinned now i can go back and use the other apps in my tablet the next tip is about digital well-being okay so if you want to see your all day activities in your tablet so you have to go to the settings okay and then here this option of digital well-being just select it okay so once you select it here it will show you all uh, your day activities on your tablet so how many minutes you use any app okay all the data it will show you over here the next tip is about using focus mode so if you want to enable the focus mode just go to the settings then go to the digital well-being okay and then in the digital well-being just scroll down and you see this option of focus mode okay just select it and here you can select any distracting app okay so you can see you can select any distracting app so if you want to focus uh, the tablet will pause the distracting apps and hide their notifications the next step is about uh, disable the app drawer mode so for example if i scroll it like this my app drawer will open okay if you want to disable this option so you have to press and hold the home screen like this and then select this home settings once you enter into the home settings you see this option of home screen just select it and once you select it here you see there are two different options 
one is regular and one is no app drawer so i will select this no app drawer okay so now there will be no app drawer option okay so for example if i scroll like this okay so there is no app drawer all your apps will go to the next screen so this is how you can disable the app drawer the uh, next tip is about wallpaper so you have different wallpaper option just press and hold the home screen okay and then you see this option of wallpapers just select it once you select it you can see this option of own device wallpapers you can select it and here you have different wallpapers you can set any wallpaper according to your needs and so for example i want to set this wallpaper i just press it and then i set wallpaper i set it for home screen and lock screen okay so now you can see a new wallpaper is available uh, the next tip is about color and contrast so to set the color and contrast go to the settings then uh, go to the display so here is the display option just select it once you select it you will see an option of color and contrast so here you can select any color and contrast okay so you can see you can use this ball okay to select any color or contrast okay and then if you want the standard one you can select from here if you want the warm okay and then the cool so three options also available over here but if you want to customize it yourself you can do it from here the next step is about video display enhancement so to enable it just go to the settings okay just go to the display okay and in the display just go to the advanced okay so here you see this option of video display enhancement just select it so here if you want you can enable it and it will enhance the video display quality to make colors brighter and more vivid so here you can select the apps for example we have youtube photos so whatever app you want you can select in this video display enhancement mode uh, the last tip is about ultra battery saving mode so to enable the ultra battery saving mode just go to the settings okay and then here uh, you see this option of battery okay so battery here okay and then here you see this option of ultra saving mode so if you enable it only selected apps will be available if you press okay so you can see over here only selected apps are available for your use and this will enable the ultra battery saving mode so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much